Chef John. What's going on? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> What's the plan today? We got a whole bunch of wiring stuff to do on the Forerunner. We bought some things. A few things showed up. Lights, light bars, light cubes, light controllers. Got rock lights here, which uh, have a nice Jeep on them. What we decided to go with was the, the, the beauty. Switch Pros. The Switch Pros. Okay. This is all a solid state module that goes under the hood then you plug the harness in the switch panel into it that look how compact that is and then we've got the switches here which will run the harness yeah. into the cab but we have an eight switch controller super low profile illuminated programmable yeah. any color works. you want it's gonna work perfect for this job and then to go along with this though there's a great company called power trays and these guys make custom mounts for lots of different vehicles you actually have a spot that you it's made to hold the switch pros on it it's meant to hold the bus bar and the fuse box but you can also get all the blue sea stuff with them you put your switch pros on the side like that and so that's what we're going to work on so that's what it takes you know like we've been talking about you know forerunners versus jeep and i you know i got no problem with the forerunner guys at all but these are just all the little things that you got to add that, you know, came stock with the, the JL. So a lot of suspension upgrades just to fit 33s. We've got to add some third party electrical stuff to be able to run switches for lighting. If you're thinking about getting a 4Runner instead of a Jeep, Jeep has added a lot of things over the years and the JLs now come really equipped. You got to put a few more things into the 4Runners to get there from the start. Sure, by the time we're done with this 4Runner, it's going to be completely kitted out for for wheeling and overlanding and camping and basically adventuring. Step one, coffee. Step two, find some room in the garage. Probably, probably not. <laughs> you gotta do something with this matting. Every time you turn the wheels on it, it just ripples all up. I really need a bigger garage, guys. <laughs> one day, one day. Can we open the hood in here? I don't know if that's gonna work. That'll be good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so where are we putting this thing? I believe it goes right here. I believe it actually goes into some pre-existing holes in the oh, in the body panel. All right. So we got our tray, fuse block, the terminal block for it. So the Switch Pro is actually gonna go to this. All the positive stuff is gonna go into this. And then anything that you're wiring to the Switch Pro is gonna go on the other side of this. And then this is for the negative side of that. This is a nice clean way to do it because what we don't want is over here on the battery, all these wires, you see this all the time, just wires and wires and wires coming off. The really cool thing, I, I like it just to gain for going for the clean look. So the gate, they give you the cables that you need already. They're pre-cut specific for Forerunner. <laughs> is working on these mounting setup. I thought I'd show you guys these. We, this is all of the rock lights. These are uh, RGB lights. Yeah, we'll put a link below to these. I think there's 16 in that actually. Oh, there's a whole, oh, these there's are all more side. lights? Yeah. What we're thinking, bolt these up here like that. How sweet would that be? I grabbed two here. So many, they're all tangled together, guys. Here we go. Do something like that. We're trying to do things different or try new things, things that people aren't doing all the time. That's nah, seeing how it works out. That's just the fun of it. And maybe you guys learn something. Yeah. This thing is looking sharp, man. It looks nice when it goes together. It's a good design. Look at all this. This is the harness that comes off the Switch Pros. We're gonna plug that in. I think we're wiring the house up. We are, there's a lot of hair. <laughs> it's gonna come up through here. We're gonna, we're gonna sheath, sheath these cables or sleeve them and make them look nice, cut them to length. Get them all wired in here, put some nice ends on it. It's gonna be tedious, yeah. but it's gonna, it's gonna. Wiring is tedious, guys. Yeah. It takes forever. These installs you guys see that are like 10 minute videos are like 10 hours of wiring sometimes. So. All connectors, all the right screws, everything. I hate these things, but sometimes they're necessary evil. Little add a fuse block. Check out Switch Pros on Instagram, I guess. We'll check them out later for all the different things. A bunch more wiring, and that's why these are blank. So you can put the ones you want on here. These, this is, look at how 
in this is, guys. I, I really like this. If I run out of switches with the four auxiliary switches we have in the JL, this is gonna be what I go with. Just test, testing the length of the wires that yeah. John just sleeved up. So we sleeved the first, oh, you tape them. So we're trimming all the, the wires off the switch barrel harness, sleeving them, yeah. uh, heat shrinking them. So it's gonna look super tidy. You can see the one here, the black one there. And then it loops around to the distribution block. Anytime you wanna connect something, you just have to put a ring terminal on it and connect it to the distribution block. You don't have to find the switch pro wire, etc. This makes for a real clean setup. This whole mounting plate setup that John got's awesome. And I think, you know, if I ever end up going with the switch pros on my rig, I'll tr probably try to find something similar. All right, guys, it's actually the next morning. Uh, John came by late last night. He was finishing up some wiring and we're gonna get started or continue this. Got my morning coffee. And uh, if you guys were wondering, uh, I make pretty good coffee here at the house. We don't use an espresso. We, uh, we got a pretty sweet little setup. So I know you guys leave a lot of comments about you need to get a better coffee setup. I support a local coffee roaster. This is an ember mug. Keeps your coffee hot, but it's pretty awesome. So let's go check out John's progress while we uh, have our morning coffee and wait for him to show up. So John was here till like 11 o'clock last night, finishing up the wiring. Oh, I think he's here now. So he's finishing up the wiring. We'll go through a tour in a second. Is it raining? It's not raining. I was just telling these guys about the, pro the progress on your wiring last night. Yes, day 36 <laughs> of wiring. <laughs> John spent several hours sleeving and heat shrinking all of the connectors on the Switch Pro, which looks awesome. This is looking real good. We've got a nice bus bar here all wired in so that we don't need to make any connections to the harness. We can just add terminals to this as needed. This is the negative side. So we've got a nice clean termination point for all the negative terminals. And then we've got the always powered fuse block here for anything that needs power all the time. Real nice all in one setup. And we're gonna get this mounted up into the rig today. We, we got, got a bit of a plan to mount some of these rock lights yeah. to the underside of that Free Spirit Odyssey. That's yeah. the game plan. We'll circle back when it's dark because I want to see all these lights and what they look like. What are you trying to do? Remove the fuse cover <laughs> here? <laughs> all right, step one. Use the existing points on the side of the the body here and then it has one leg that goes down here somewhere. I'm not exact. Oh, it, this, it actually goes into the into the wheel well. So no drilling, yeah. that's what I like. This is actually a pretty straightforward install. Most of the time was spent sleeving those wires. It's aesthetics, it's also a little bit of safe, like I, I don't want these to easily get frayed. Uh, how come we have the bracket out? <laughs> okay, okay, rewind. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna cut this so we make sure we do it in the right order, right? So, um, no so you'll <laughs> you'll notice you'll notice the panel is now sitting on top of the engine. All of, all the guides I looked at, none of them mentioned doing the routing of the cables ahead of time, which I don't know how you can get in there without doing it ahead through, of time through the firewall. Through the firewall, yeah. yeah. A couple dash pieces to get access to it. So basically, wire wire it first. <laughs> in long and short of it, <laughs> put the wires before the bracket. All right, so while John messes around with getting that harness through the firewall, we have to mount up this switch panel, which I mean, I really like how low profile this is. We're gonna mount it to this piece of dash here. What we're gonna do is drill these four holes out and then a big hole for the, the main cable. So John's letting me uh, cut up his dash. And there we go, check this out. Got this nicely mounted up. Is it something like this in here? This is clean. Real great little setup. I really like this. I really like this panel. Just because it's so easy to mount this stuff. Here you go, sir. Hey, we're done? Look at that. Pop it in. Holes are drilled in the right spot. It's not even <laughs> it's not even backwards. That's great. There's only a couple extra holes underneath. Look at that. I think we're lined up. Say hello. 
Oh, <laughs> you know, you just want to come play. You guys haven't met Bruce yet. This is our Boston Terrier. Sit, sit. Good boy, <laughs> good boy. So this is Bruce, he's 10 months old. Where'd he go? And uh, he's a Boston Terrier. You guys haven't seen him yet, but hopefully one day we can bring him out on the trail. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Bruce. How's things going? I think we're good. I think we're ready to redo what we did before. We're gonna probably just get ready to put the mounting bracket back in place and uh, the power tray and we'll give it a go. Moment of truth. <laughs> Oh, actually, one second. Oh, not the moment of truth. Yeah, it works. Hey, hey. hey. nothing lit on fire. So it's no at least has popped. Well, the next test will be to hook something up. We've been working on these lights up here. We got three of these. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Wait, we got three of these rock lights across the top. And then uh, maybe we could just connect that controller up, see if those work. What we want to see is how good this version of the light is on these. So we're going to have to come back when it's dark, I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that when it gets dark out. Uh, this is a great clean <laughs> installation. I'm really impressed with all of these bits. I mean, yeah, yeah you got to spend the money. You got to get the uh, mounting plate and the switch pros and everything. It's, it's a few bucks. But honestly, if you don't and you just try to wire all your own stuff with your own relays and your own fuses, you end up with these big rat's nests of wires. And to me, Having a good switching system and wiring system is just a great backbone for tons of other things that you're going to end up adding to your rig if, if that's what you're planning to do. And uh, I wouldn't cheap out, buy, buy something quality. This is a, a really good setup that I'm pretty impressed with so far. You're not going to spend all that time trying to figure out where to wire, put your relays. And I went through a lot of that with the JK and I want to rip it all out now and put something clean in, in like this. This is the first project we ever had where we didn't have to do like a mid run to the store or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, everything, everything, everything came with it. We're, this isn't a sponsor video no, or anything. Sorry. Uh, we paid a ton of money. Well, John paid a bunch of money for all this stuff. It is expensive, but I will put some links down in the description if you want to check it out. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's turn off the lights. I mean, like the sun and turn on the lights and see what these rock lights look like underneath the rooftop tent. We're back and it is dark out and we're gonna check out these scene lights or basically rock lights that we hooked up to the bottom of the Free Spirit Odyssey rooftop tent on Chef John's rig. Just see what the lighting coverage is with these lights before we wrap up this week's video. Hit that, hit that button or you got the app, John. Well, let's, let's hit the button. Let's hit the button. Let's hit the button. So we got a nice illuminated red switch panel now. Moment of truth. And hey, it works. Look at that. <laughs> so these are white, but also multicolored, right? A second app on my phone here uh, that just controls the lights. This is only if we want to change the color on them. We can use the Switch Pros app to turn them on and off once we have a color set. But these lights are kind of cool because uh, we have pure white, so they're RGBWs, which is what we're on now, white. And we can actually just change the color using the RGBs. So what I really wanted to see was the coverage around the rig. Now we only have three of them set up. I should probably turn that light off over there. Turn on all the lights. There we go, I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's, so that lights up pretty good around the Jeep. Now we've only got the Jeep. We've only got <laughs> three on this side right now. So there's white at full brightness. It's too bad it doesn't extend out a little bit further into this yeah. dark zone. Oh. It is lighting things up more in person. It's a pretty hard to tell on camera. You know, this... you're not gonna be able to get it extended out any further because of where they are on the body. And the best part, well, I've got the app on my phone now for John's light, so when we're out, I can mess with them. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this week's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, as always, leave a like. I do appreciate it and I do upload new videos every week. So if you want to see more awesome mods, installs, off-roading, we're going to be hitting some adventures up pretty soon. Hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys join us here on the channel and I'll see you guys next week in the next upload.